Hey everyone, it's Craig with Laser Models. Today we're going to go ahead and build the ambulance. It's one of our brand new models for 2019. And it's going to take about, oh, half hour to 45 minutes at least. Uh, this is a little time consuming, but it's a fun build. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we do is always, we always get all the pieces laid out as much as we can, like style pieces. And then go ahead and get our glue bottle ready. And the instructions. First thing we're going to do is we're going to build the gurney. So the gurney is going to require, let's see, five pieces. Those two, this one, this one, and this little piece. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put glue on the larger gap down here. And just lay that there. And so that will set there. And that will set like that. The one thing you do want to do is make sure the etching of the wheels faces out. So there are little two little etchings and stuff, so it looks like a wheel. This piece, just put a little bit of glue on each little tab here. So it'll be like that. These will go into the little slots here. And then push it together. That keeps a it lined up and then glue here and there. That's the last piece. That finishes the gurney. We'll set the gurney over to the side. Steering wheel. Ah, throw a piece out. It's going to take these two pieces. And so what you can do is just set the steering wheel down Put a little bit of glue on each side of this little tab here. And then just set it inside here. Just like that. And then if you want, you can just set it right on top of the gurney and just let it dry. So we won't use any of that stuff till a little later. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to start with the front axle. The front rear axle, we got two different axles. Short one and long one. Short ones for the front, long ones for the back. So we're going to set the long axle to the side. And then for the front axle, we have two, two, one and one, one and one. So what you do first, oh, I'm sorry, wait a minute, two and two, there we go, that makes much more sense. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to work on one wheel at first. So the first thing we do is we set this on here, and then this clip's going to go right there. So I'm going to just put a little tab of glue right there. So put the wheel on, slide that into place. Repeat that for the other side. So a little dot of glue, this wheel, and slide into place. Then what you're going to do is a little bit of glue here. If you notice, I turn that top wheel while I push together. And what that does spreads out the glue, it also dries it almost instantly. If you don't put enough glue when you do that, it'll just end up falling apart. And then, same thing here. Now what you want to do is put that around that. So that's why it's important to put those two on first. And that's 
that axle. And then we're going to go to the back axle, which is going to be the longer one. The rest of the wheels, little spacers. So you got two spacers, two hubcaps, four of the outer pieces. So what we're going to do is we've got eight of the small circle, four of the large circle, two small spacers and two hubcaps, and one axle. What we're going to do is we're going to take these three first, and we're going to repeat this for both sides. So those are done. So these slide on, spacer slides on. This is the last of those rings. And then we're going to put glue here. So take that off to give you a little more room. A little glue there like we did before. C clip goes on. So on this side, this one spacer, a little bit of glue, that one there, hubcap. Now remember what we did here before, we're going to glue both of these together. Glue this one together. This glues onto that axle, just like that. And that axle is finished. So those are to be left let dry for a little bit. So now we're going to go ahead and get the axle put together onto the frame. The frame's got two areas for axles. It's got a long or short end and a long end from the axle. The long is the rear, the short is the front. So front axle will go here, rear axle will go there. So we can do this two ways and I this seems to always be the easier way is to put a little bit of glue on the tabs and then just set the axle in place just like this. Grab the front axle, do the same thing. Now you kind of want to keep doing these next steps all in one. So just lift that up and just set it there. Because what can happen if you let this dry right now, it could dry like that and then things won't line up. So the next couple of steps is kind of important. We want the base that's going to go over this. <clears throat> so Right here you have up, so this is going to face up. It's going to go into these tabs here. So what you can do is put glue in between the tabs. Just like that. And then set this in place. Whoops. There we go. I've knocked both axles out, so I need to put a little more glue here. And then just hold on to them like this and flip it back over. 
There we go. Everything's in place. So it rolls. And what we'll do is get the back seat. The back seat's going to go here. That's the narrower seat. If you notice, there's some wider ones. It's going to be the narrow ones. It's going to take two of these. There's six of these. They're identical. So what I want to do is a little bit of glue here. Oh, I'm out of the way. That's going to go in that hole there. The little curve area faces towards the back. That one there. This is going to set here, so you just need to put glue in between the slots there. Or if you want, you can put glue right here. Now, this you will not put on yet, the back, because there's no way of holding it. There's a wall that goes there, so we'll just set that to the side. The next step is going to be putting on this back wall. You notice there's etching here. That etching is going to face away from the seat, and it's going to set right here. So, if you want, a little bit of glue here. And in place. And then we're going to go ahead and put the front seats in. Now, the front seats will go complete, so you want both set, so the seats, the backs, and then four more of these. The first thing we're going to do is glue, and we'll start from the outside in. Now this is one of those steps you don't want to take a break on, because if you stop, they won't be lined up properly. And that's going to go into the two slots and then down. Even at this point, once these are in, don't stop. Just keep gluing. So they go like that. So the next step is you're going to put these on. A little bit of glue. They're just going to set in the slot that's right there. But as you push them down, it's going to help square this out. So just like that. And those are in place. The next will be the wall, the, the walls the sides of the vehicle etching here faces down you've got two pieces here the one with the two holes has a small little arrow showing the point up so this will go that way so the gap is towards the top side but we'll get to that in a second these can get a little tricky. If you put the hole in on the top first and then bring in the bottom and the sides, that's usually the best way. You can also put your glue right along the bottom side. And then on the back, you're going to want to go along here. So what you're going to do is you're going to set that piece in here and then bring it all the way down. And that pushes in. And once that's in place, push this wall forward to it. And now this is the hardest step, I think, in this whole build is going to be these next two. Um, well, next three. You're going to glue this piece in. So you're going to put a little bit of glue here. But at the same time, get a little bit of glue right here. Because you're going to need it, and that way you're not pushing on it. This piece is just going to set in here. So hold this wall 
why you put that piece in. Now this one goes in next. Remember the arrow faces up. So a little bit of glue both sides. And just sets like that. There's nothing special at this point in time. It's just setting. Because what happens is when we put this piece in, those are going to line up in these three holes. So this hole, this hole, and this hole. So let's get our glue onto this piece. And remember, we're going to drop the top piece in first. And then we're going to start working these other ones in. So, Sorry about having to get in the way there. I had to be able to see. So those pieces are all in. Just like that. So that sheet's finished. We're now ready to glue the steering wheel in. I'm going to get a pair of tweezers so I can stay out of the way for you guys can see here. The two holes with the little arrow that said right here. That's where that goes, is right there. Just like that. Okay. Now I want to put the seat cover, the center console in, those two pieces. This little piece and this little piece. So glue on the bottom sits in right next to the seat. Get in the tweezers, my fat fingers, then you can see. Just like that. Now this little piece goes in with the tab down, so like this. So a little bit of glue here and here. Just like that. And again, a little bit of glue on the two little tabs. And so that's how that will set, just like that. And just take a look at the steering wheel, make sure the steering wheel is straight up and down if you didn't let it dry. And that's in place. Now, let's put the front hood on. So here's the front hood. It's going to set right here. So a little bit of glue. On these pieces, we're also going to put the front in, so a little bit of glue here. And that will set there. And right to there. This piece, the etching faces to the point here. This piece here will go down here, so just put a couple of dots of little glue down here. And just set that in place. Just like that. I'm going to put the roof and the window on. Now the window Little curve here, nothing. Little curve here, nothing. This is the bottom. The curve goes towards the top. So, put a little bit of glue on each one of the tabs. A 
it just sets in place. The roof will go just like that. to there. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to work on this side. This will be the panel without the door on it. There's one with the door. This one has no door. So it'll face like this face down. It's going to go right here. We're also going to need this piece, the piece with the number one. The seats are identical and the long piece here. So this piece is for there, that's going to be for there, and that's going to go in here. So first thing we do is No glue on these back tabs and some glue on the bottom tabs. And if you want, you can turn it sideways. And then everything just sets in place like that. Okay. This piece here sets inside here, just like that. So let's put a little bit of glue on the bottom. That glue is there. This little piece here the number one's on this side so if you take the number one and you lean this out you can put that in there and that like that. Okay. So the side with the number one a little bit of glue, the back side of the tab on the other. And again, I'll use the tweezers for you guys can see easier. There we go. Just make sure the side stays in. Now, put glue across the top. little bench, glue on the back side. This goes into the two slots on the side there and just down. This one, this is the countertop, a little bit of glue, into the side and down. Now we're going to do this side over here. One with the door, Door faces forward, inner pieces, and this one here. So, glue on the tabs. just set right there and just lift it right in place. This piece will go right here. So just some glue on the bottom. This is the number two piece. The number two goes to the wall. A little bit of glue there. You know, use the tweezers for you guys can see a little better.
going to have to lean over real quick and block you. Sorry. There we go. Just like that. And then this end piece is going to go right in here. <clears throat> so glue on the little tabs. like that. I put another piece over in the trash, this piece here. <clears throat> so glue across the little tops. This is your bench etching faces up again. like that. Make sure all the sides are pushed in. Everything's pushed down. Well welcome back. The uh, camera shut off on us real quick and so we're gonna go ahead and continue now. So sorry about that. So next thing we're gonna do is take this little seat, the one that was on the inside, and we're gonna glue that back into place here. So it's just gonna glue in just like that. Then glue across the top. This piece will just set right inside here. Sometimes it's a little snug, and that's due to the thickness of wood varies and stuff. So just grab it at the top and the bottom and just kind of squeeze. Don't squeeze here because you don't want to take a chance of breaking this. So that goes there. The rear, a little bit of glue on these tabs. And those will just set right in place like that. A little bit of glue on each one of these. Bumper goes on, the small side faces in. So just like that. So that's finished now. We're all caught up, everything's fixed. So now we're going to go ahead and lay it on its side. We're going to grab two of the fenders. The fenders will just cover um, right along this edge here is the bottom. So they just kind of line up. sticking to my fingers. There you go. That one right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue this front um, lower hinge in. So just put a dab of glue right in that little gap there. And just push that in and let that set there to dry. Carefully flip this over because you don't want to bump those other fenders. Just like this. Just like that. A little dab of glue here and a little dab of glue on that tab there. Now take another one of the little hinges, just put that in place there. Another one here. Okay, turn this over and just take a look, make sure all the fenders didn't move or anything else. And then we're going to glue in two more of these. dot of glue there and a dot of glue here. Just 
just like that just like that this piece here you have a curve here flat end here put a bead of glue I'm going to look to make sure this piece here is going to go between the seat so just like that and all the way against the wall and then it just kind of pushes down and you just want to kind of make sure it's kind of in the middle so just like that and that's it for that we're going to put the rear doors in then the side door and then we'll do the fronts so on these this is the door that goes on this side. So what I want to do is put a dab of glue here. And get a hinge like this. Okay. The bottom goes into the hinge we put there. And the top one just goes to there. And that's it. Okay, and then open that door up. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. Dot of glue. Just like that. So that will go into that slot there. That will go into there. And the doors close and open. So just like that. So just go ahead and close them. We're now going to do the same thing to this side door here. Dab of glue. The bottom goes into that lower hinge to the top and then just push in. While we're on this side, we now have choices. We have four doors. Two for paramedic, two for ambulance. I think the last couple of ones I did were uh, paramedic, so I'm going to do an ambulance. So, a little bit of glue there. Grab a hinge. This one's going to be a little harder for me to do. For you can see. Um, Put the bottom side in first. Just like that. And do the other side. So make sure that door stays closed when you lay it down. They can lay it open, but don't let it fling out. This is going to be the same thing Dab of glue there and then into place like that. Alright, extra doors over to the trash. You have your gurney, you open up the back doors the gurney will slide right out along that track we put in there. And there you go. So here you go. Here's your ambulance all finished. Doors all open. Gurney inside. Take it in and out. Hey, thank you so much for joining me today. I had a good time doing this build. Um, if you guys have any questions, give us a call. Reach out to us. We love hearing from you guys. Ideas. I need ideas. Um, I've got a short list, and I'm waiting to add some more stuff for next year. I've got a total of six models this year that we got done, so that's a lot for one year for one person. So anyway, hey, I appreciate you guys. Um, come back and visit us at shows. Thank you much.